What's up guys? So we are starting a new series. As you guys know, I did do a half Ironman. The goal was to do a full. I'm here to announce that I'm no longer doing the full. The reason being is I had a pretty bad ankle injury. Talked to my coach, went to a doctor, wasn't getting better. We decided there is no rush. So we're gonna do another Ironman after this series. It's gonna be the full. I haven't yet picked the race but I will do another Ironman. I'm gonna show you guys on how to build strength and muscle while staying lean over the next course of the few months. So the goal is to deadlift 600 pounds, squat 500, and also maybe bench over 405. Um, and that's like the metrics I wanna hit for that. Body weight wise, I wanna kind of recomp. I'm like 205 right now, 206. So ideally I wanna stay around that body weight maybe get up to 210, but get leaner in the process. So eat at maintenance and just recomp. This is gonna be the power gains prep, not even prep, just power gains program. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk you guys through. So this is day one. We're gonna test um, our squat bench deadlift and show you guys the progress that we're gonna make throughout this. So in this prep, it's gonna be like full day of eating, my routine, that supplement routine, everything that I've been doing to lead up to this whole entire journey to get me to those numbers, really focusing on building back up, building muscle like the OG Nathan French, get back into the bodybuilding, like powerlifting and just being a badass. It's a bad day to be weight and that's what we're gonna to do today. So let's go crush it. So we are gonna have some two Rice Krispie treats. I am tracking calories, so my goal right now is to hit 320 grams of carbs, 250 grams of protein, and about, I think it's 70 grams of fat. So those are the macros right now going into this power um, gain season. So we got two Rice Krispies. This is gonna be pre-workout. I also have a big camera guy behind the video here, camera or whatever. So like I said, we're going all in and we're gonna make this shit epic. So let's do it. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are headed to the BPN HQ right now. Um, and like I said, we're gonna test squat bench deadlift. Now, the reason why I chose this goal is because I think when you go into anything in life, it's better to be strong than weak. You never wanna go into something and say, damn, I wish I was weaker, you know? like. So when I think about life, this Ironman, I wanna be strong going into it. Whenever I have a goal, I'm very focused. Without a goal, I think you just drift throughout life. So whenever you finish something, the people that say, oh, you need to take a break, okay, you can take a break for a week, but get back on your shit. Have a goal, have something you're constantly working towards because if you don't, you're just you're just drifting. You're just drifting, kind of like uh, if a ship sails in the ocean and they have no idea where they're going, they're not gonna know where the destination is. It's gonna take them 10 times longer to get there. They might not ever get there. Set that ship the way you wanna go, just keep fucking sailing no matter how hard the fucking seas get we're gonna get this these numbers it's gonna be bad day to be a weight like i said i'm ready to go crush it right now gonna you know push the weight as much as i can on squat but my ankle as you know i rolled it so not gonna go too, too heavy. The squat's not gonna be what I want. We're still gonna need to build it a lot up to 500. Um, so we're just gonna see what we can get here. After doing the Ironman, you know, like, and all this endurance, the marathon, wasn't squatting much, so legs are gonna take a hit for sure. So when I go into the max, you wanna start out just incrementally going up. So we hit 135 warmed up, 225, uh, 275, then 315, and then based upon how the working set moves, like so 315, depending on how that moves, is gonna gauge. So go through next.
be able to bench four or five while well, I used to. Now, the fact that I have to squat it is a different story. <laughs> Pray for me, I might be in the six feet under after this. It might just bury me. Okay, come on. Ow. No, I'm not doing it. My ankle's not holding on to that one. Yeah. Didn't move the way I wanted because when I hinged out the hips, I felt it right away in my ankle. I do think I could get 405. It would be tough. So let's just we're gonna we're just gonna stick with 365 and move good. And now we know. Um, that's not my true max. I would say my true max is around 395, 400, 405 maybe. Um, but yeah, the, road, the road's 500. That's where we're. That's the goal. You know, as long as we keep improving, chip away, we're gonna get there. Now time to move on to bench press. What are you doing, bro? You're not gonna warm up, dude. This is my warm up. What are you warming up? 135? Maybe the bar? Nah. <laughs> 135 is just like... I don't know. Honestly, I can't tell the difference between 135 and 225 at this point. bench deadlift heavy because it's just one less thing that you have to worry about if you put all your intention and thoughts into embracing your core it takes away from the big lift if you're gonna max out and honestly this just really helps a lot you can do it raw this sounds messed up you can do it raw before the big day comes um, but whenever you're gonna go max out definitely use what you have um, use the equipment you have because it'll make a big difference so it is kind of messed up that um, 315 on my hands moves almost easier than squatting. But that's how endurance works. It takes away from your legs. For me anyways. So we got to build these puppies up uh, for the next Ironman. So yeah, still going to throw on the weight on the bench press. So this is just going to move pretty fast. expected to lose some strength and muscle so that's part of this build but 365 felt pretty good um, but we're gonna cut it there honestly it was kind of hard um, just I paused it at the bottom really good rep so I'm satisfied with that now the deadlift I just deadlifted about a month ago and my deadlifts pretty relatively the same so we're just gonna go with that toss the video in here of this um, of the deadlift so that's what that looks like um, but overall you know I feel pretty good with these numbers. It's really cool because now I can show you guys how I'm gonna go build up and hit those big numbers, gain some size and stay lean and just really focus on the food, the nutrition, and just everything that you know will lead me to this goal. I'm gonna hit a leg workout. We're gonna turn into some diesels. season I incorporate both like fish and chicken red meat all three um, we're at HEB right now where is it shit they out of tuna style again there's no way 
Okay, I normally get tuna salad, but we're gonna get chicken and get some tuna packets until we get tuna salad. But yeah, fish, chicken, which is white meat, and then red meat, which is um, gonna be like bison or uh, lean beef. So right here, we're gonna go with 93% lean beef. So I always have this on days where I want my fat lower. And if too much fat in the day, I'll get 93. If I have more fat, I'll go with some ground bison. This is equates to like 90% lean. Um, so there's 11 grams of fat, 24 grams of protein. This just has all the nutrients that you need. So bison for me is a staple. We got one other protein source, which is gonna be the tuna packets. I get these tuna ranch packets, um, or I'll get barbecue sauce down here. This just makes it taste better. And when I mix it with the tuna salad at HEB, it's leaner and also just like tastes good to mix it both. So bacon ranch and the barbecue are my two favorite flavors, so I just stock up on these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen bags of tuna. Power season. Oh shit. Cost <laughs> <laughs> a lot to be huge. Just show you guys my post workout meal. After I go to the gym, I call this, well, I'm gonna call it the corn fed bowl. It's eight ounces of light and fit Greek yogurt. And this is like the most underrated recipe. Then one scoop of BPN peanut butter vegan cookie. So one scoop of that. So first you're gonna mix this up with the yogurt. So it's gonna get almost like pudding. Add a little water to it, cause it does get clumpy. And it's gonna taste like, I don't know if you guys ever had like peanut butter pie, but it's gonna taste very similar to that. It's just really, really good. Just to make it even better, I add 16 grams of peanut butter. <laughs> 16, that is not 16 grams. Bro, I'm gonna be covered in peanut butter by the time I finish this video. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> I have an obsession. Might as well just stick my whole fucking hand in this shit. <laughs> Oh my god! 15, one more gram. Yeah, I got 16 grams. Oh my god, fucking. Alright. Yeah, 16? 17. <laughs> Look at this shit. Hold on. We're gonna wash my hands real quick. Oh, fucking mess. Alright, so now that we're not wearing all the fucking peanut butter, we got it stirred up like this. Perfect consistency. Look at that. And lastly, mm, you're gonna add some blueberries, frozen, because when you add frozen blueberries, it makes the yogurt and the protein like stick. And it's just a perfect post-workout meal. So 150 grams of blueberries, frozen blueberries. And what we'll do is we'll just mix it up like so. And this is the post-workout meal. We hit our squat bench deadlift today. The numbers, I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought I was gonna do better, but this is the part of the journey. We work our way up, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna be hard, but it's gonna be one of those things where it's worth it because that muscle, that strength that you build up, that's always gonna be there. And it's one of those like signals that like, going into any situation, like I said earlier in the video, it benefits you to be stronger. Being a stronger person, is better than being a weaker person. I know that sounds very gym bro, but you can apply that to anything. Like during the Ironman when my body was tired, I knew I had a strong foundation. So, you know, I kept my good posture in the race, which allowed me to finish in the time I wanted to at 214 pounds. So this weight training stuff is important no matter who you are. Um, you don't just have to be a power lifter. It's just really good if you want to be well-versed. Strength training, having muscle, so you can be the ultimate person and also just to be a weapon. Yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys like a full day of eating here. Morning routine, um, kind of out switching, nightly routine um, and everything that I do. And here's a quick hint right now. This is like my nightly routine. I'm gonna, you know, hint for the next video. Slamming down a big protein ice cream. Um, and I'm also gonna show you guys a grocery haul, but tons of content coming and some badass workouts. So. Catch you guys in the next one. Stay corn fed.